this kind of attack threatens our national security interests uh, by violating uh, well-established international norms against the use of chemical weapons. What we choose to do or not do matters in real ways to our own security. Some cite the risk of doing things, but we need to ask what is the risk of doing nothing. Uh, I have said before, uh, and I meant what I said, that uh, the world has an obligation to make sure that we maintain the norm against the use of chemical weapons. This crime against conscience, this crime against humanity, this crime against the most fundamental principles of international community, against the norm of the international community, this matters to us. Now, I have not made a final decision uh, about uh, various actions that might be taken to help enforce that norm. Now, we know that after a decade of conflict, the American people are tired of war. Believe me, I am too. But fatigue does not absolve us of our responsibility. Just longing for peace does not necessarily bring it about. We are looking at the possibility of a limited, uh, narrow uh, act that would help make sure that uh, not only Syria, but others around the world uh, understand that uh, the international community cares about maintaining this chemical weapons uh, ban and norm. And history would judge us all extraordinarily harshly if we turned a blind eye to a dictator's wanton use of weapons of mass destruction against all warnings, against all common understanding of decency. These things we do know.